Hello everyone, this is Daryl Kunfer and I'm Andy Falco and we're from Hydrotech Pumps. We'd like to take a few minutes today to introduce you to our newest piece of equipment, the HT20 DQP Sound Attenuated Hydraulic Power Unit. We're going to run through the features of the unit today, starting with the flip-up handles you see on either end of the unit. The one on Daryl's end allows an operator to wheelbarrow style move the unit from place to place. Utilizing both handles, a crew of operators can pick and place the unit wherever it needs to go. In addition to that lifting feature, we have single point lifting on the top, which allows heavy equipment to move and place the, uh, the, the unit. As you can see, with the marine, marine style water tight hatches on the top, we have access to engine coolant, hydraulic oil, and diesel fuel. And again, those are watertight water tight covers. In addition, this is aluminum body construction, aluminum panels, aluminum frame, and as you can see on the bottom, aluminum port slots, which allow for another type of picking and moving the piece of equipment. We have pneumatic tires on the unit, and inside we have the Yanmar 22 horsepower Mini Max engine. As I mentioned earlier, we wanted to go for a lightweight unit and part of that was getting some weight out of the engine. To accomplish that we removed or replaced the steel bell housing with aluminum bell housing and were able to shave 50 pounds just off the weight of the engine. Um, strapped to the back of the bell housing is the hydraulic gear style pump and to the left of that you'll see the diesel fuel reservoir and directly behind that is the hydraulic oil reservoir. Up in front of the engine radiator is the air to oil hydraulic oil cooler. Uh, proper hydraulic oil temperature is critical for function of proper function of the hydraulic oil system and that air to oil cooler ensures that our hydraulic oil stays at the, at the right temperature. As we move around the other side of the engine you can see on the panels the open cell one inch thick sound attenuating material which is both pinned and glued in place. It is a 12 volt system with a standard battery and as you can see there is a wrap around the muffler and a heat shield around the exhaust. We are accomplishing a few things with this. Uh, we're knocking down some of the noise with the muffler blanket. We're protecting the operator from hot spots inside the, the enclosure should they be operating with the doors open. And of course by insulating the muffler and the exhaust we're able to remove some heat from the enclosure to again ensure proper engine operating temperature and hydraulic oil operating temperature. Uh, on the back side and bottom of the oil reservoir is the stainless steel suction strainer. It is an o-ring type seat so it is easily removable for cleaning and replacement. Up on top of that reservoir is the hydraulic oil return filter accessible again from the top through the marine hatch and it is a drop-in replacement filter. As we move around to the control side, we can go over the brains of the operation, which is a pressure compensated flow control manifold located directly behind the hydraulic flow knob that Daryl is pointing to right now. By twisting that knob and viewing the analog flow meter below, the operator can infinitely adjust the hydraulic flow being delivered to the tool or pump. And at the same time see exactly how much flow they are providing to that piece of equipment. Down below we have the hydraulic connections. The pressure, case drain, and return are outfitted with male and female QDs which when used with a properly matched hose set ensure that the piece of equipment being run cannot be hooked up backwards or incorrectly which could cause damage to the piece of equipment and to the hydraulic system. Above and to the right is the hydraulic on-off toggle switch. With the flip of the switch, you activate and deactivate the hydraulics. To the left is the standard LOFA control panel with tachometer, hour meter, key switch, and engine indicator lights. There are also auxiliary inputs Hydrotech wired to the system to protect the hydraulics by means of shutting down on high hydraulic oil temperature or low hydraulic oil level. Directly above is the liquid filled pressure gauge which reads hydraulic system pressure and to the right of that is the mechanical engine throttle. Off to the left side on the back side of the oil reservoir is a sight level and temperature gauge allows the operator at a glance to ensure that there is enough oil in the system 
and that the temperature is running in the proper range. And on the right side, we have the site level gauge for the diesel fuel. Again, this unit was developed in response to a customer request for a versatile, lightweight, and durable hydraulic power unit. If you'd like to find out more about this unit, you can visit us at hydro-tech.com where you can pick up the spec sheet for this and all of our equipment and the contact information for our sales and engineering department. We hope that you visit our website soon and thank you for your time today.